Hey, what's up, folks? What it, what it do? You know what I'm saying? It's the playoffs games. I, I know I've been in my down spirits. I've been in the, in the dumps because we've been playing like ass, buns, and cheeks these last five, six weeks. But it don't matter. It's a playoff game. I'm going to still ride for my team. And we got some news to talk. We got some good news to talk about. So let's talk about it. The Cowboys got their ass blown out. We knew that was going to happen. It's it's January. You know what Dak's record in in January is? Two and five. He won the same amount of playoff games in his illustrious career. As I mean, now probably as CJ Stroud has had. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. CJ Stroud only has one dub, but still, y'all get the point. Dak Prescott ain't done nothing in the playoffs. I don't know why y'all thought he was going to do something this year, especially when Jordan Love or the Green Bay Packers organization is running your stadium. Literally, he's the Green Bay Packers are undefeated at the AT&T Stadium. So I don't know why y'all thought it was going to be any different than what it was. I tried to tell y'all. Matter of fact, I'm going to show receipts of me trying to tell y'all Cowboys fans and not get too overly excited. But y'all fucking fan bases was way too excited, way too in your heads. Y'all thought y'all was going to really do some shit. You didn't because you're sorry. Dak Prescott, sorry. Now they got to blow everything up. Or they got to re they gotta re-sign that nigga because the cap space is so up for your team so like i said this is the year so like i said previously this is the year the cowboys franchise goes anyways let's go back to the eagles because realistically though this might be the year we go if we don't get nick sirianni out of here if this game doesn't go well you know what i'm saying realistically speaking we can't be unrealistic here folks we can't be unrealistic here folks we can't be unrealistic yes we have an easier team to play we get to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, not the Green Bay Packers, who are a hot, hot team coming into the playoffs. Mind you, I was the first nigga on the Packers. If you don't believe me, go back to my earlier post. I only had like 31 views on this shit. But early, early, early in the season, I predicted that the Green Bay Packers and the Cowboys would be two of the teams that would be challenges in the NFC. I had to have some surprise teams, you know what I'm saying? I was just trying to say that. I also want to say the Buccaneers... And oh! Look, all three of the teams is there. So, a nigga knows football. If you don't believe me, go check it. It's, it's there. <laughs> it's already in the archive. So, you can go back and look at it for yourself if you don't believe me. But anyways, we got to talk about the Eagles because I really know football. And realistically speaking, this defense is ass. This defense we have is ass. And a lot of, a lot of content creators are happy to see Avante Maddox play safety. I am not. Amante Maddox is a, is a corner playing safety, a slot corner playing safety. If that, I'm not sure how he's going to do playing in the back end of our defense. I'm just being realistic with y'all. Hundred, I don't think that having Avante Maddox be our number one safety when he hasn't had more than a week's worth of practice time is the smartest move. We just keep having players put, be put in terrible positions, in my opinion. But that's just me. I want a player like like CJ uh, TJ McCollum or or Makai Gardner, who's been getting more playing time, who's who's been more acclimated to that to get more playing time than Devontae Mattis. But that's just me because I understand people and how people work. But besides that, the more time somebody has to train or practice something the more confident they get the easier it is for them to communicate what they need to to their teammates and stuff like that and sometimes it seems like the coaching staff doesn't understand that because we keep putting players in new positions they haven't played i.e hassan reddick josh sweat dropping back into coverage for no apparent reason Getting to the keys of the game obviously the keys to the game for the eagles is to stop the run game for the tampa bay buccaneers we got to get the tampa bay buccaneers to be one dimensional baker mayfield has injuries to his ankle and to his ribs we got to hit this man our d-line has been non-existent these last four or five weeks we got to have them show out show up in this game for real for real jalen carter jordan davis where are you guys at i haven't seen y'all all season well i shouldn't say that i haven't seen y'all for the for, for, for the last half of the season at all that's what i meant to say um and we need y'all, your first round picks. Y'all supposed to be taking over the defense now. This is your time. This is your time.
to take over the defense. If you want to make a statement for the Eagles saying it's it's, it's okay, it's, it's time for us to be the leaders of the team, to let Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham go, it is your time to make a statement now, not later, now. It is time for Jordan Davis and, and our guy Jalen Carter to ball out. We put a lot of time, effort, and money into the front lines of our defense, and it's time for these players that I've mentioned to ball. There's no reason that Milton Williams should be starting over Jalen Carter now. There's no reason. It's playoff time. Let's go. So number one is obviously stopping the run, making Baker, Baker Mayfield uncomfortable. Was number two, hitting that dude in the face. Number three is to run the ball. That is the number three key to the game. Run the ball, bro. We are missing... Our number one wide receiver, our second wide receiver is hurt, or a 1A wide receiver is hurt. Devontae Smith hurt his ankle on a stupid Kenny Gainwell pass. A little stupid screen, the screen we love to run, stupid. It's game day, though, but you know what? I got hope, though, Tom Delisario, I don't know what his name, the bodyguard nigga. That muck is here. If you check our record when he's here and when he's not, man, yeah. We got a lot of hope today. We got a lot of hope today. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm hyped up. And I'm hoping this coaching staff brought a lunch pail. And they actually got to work during this week. Because I don't want to go home this weekend. I don't want to I don't want to go home this weekend and see and think what ifs. What if that? What if we had ran the ball 30 times like I wanted to all season? What if the defensive line actually had gotten to niggas like I wanted to all season? What if Sean Desai had been a coordinator or we had linebackers that were healthy? I don't want to hear none of that. All I want to see is a dub. And to go play the Detroit Lions next week. I don't know how y'all think, but that's how I think. Okay? That's all I really got for y'all. I hope you're having a good day. Hope y'all staying blessed and flying high like an eagle, baby. Let's go. First playoff game.